Okay, welcome back to another video. Sorry for no videos in three days. Um, I sort of uploaded a video and then took it down because I realized I said something wrong in the video because basically I advertised this Roblox game. I wasn't paid or anything. I just really liked the game, so I advertised it. And it turns out that game carbon copied everything from like another game. So I decided to take the video down because I don't want to give that guy any credit. Anyway, let's get on to the Beast One video. That's what you're here for. You're here for the Funny Bee game. You're not here for any other video. So before we get into Funny Bee game, press the Funny Subscribe button and get me to 20k or something. Just get me higher to a higher number, okay? If you don't subscribe, Stickbug will be in your bed or something. Maybe you like that. Maybe you want Stickbug to be in your bed. Anyway, today I'm talking about was Tide Popper worth it for me? Was it worth it? All the materials. How much more honey do I make now? So to test this out, I was macroing a bit while also grinding Spirit Bear quests and testing how much I made per hour without Tide Popper, with Tide Popper, and with different levels of nectar. So, I want to give you a reminder, this is with zero nectars. Zero nectars and no bubble bloat. So, with the Tide Popper, we made 173 billion per hour with no nectars and no bubble bloat, okay? And then without the Tide Popper, I made about 50 million or so less with no nectars, no Tide Popper. So, you got to remember, this is with no nectars. With full nectars, I probably make around 500, like 300 to 500 uh, billion per hour. And probably with the Tide Popper, around 600 billion per hour. But I haven't actually tested that because I hate getting nectars. Getting nectars is a lot of pain. In terms of looks, this thing is so much better than the Petal Belt. Because I actually look like a pro player now. Like, if I go up to this guy and rub my Tide Popper in his face, he probably he probably feels the Tide Popper wrath. And, and it's better than the Petal Belt wrath. I have no idea what I'm talking about in this video. I just need to upload a video today, so I'm kind of just rambling on. And also giving you some facts about Tide Popper. Uh, because it's it's not that worth it to be honest. Let's be honest. It's not that worth it This video is gonna be quite short honestly, so if you're new, please subscribe because I I, I, I I just want you to do it. Just do it. Okay click the button. Okay Subscribe because I just want it This video is gonna be short. Okay, like honestly this video is this video really sucks Um, If you're here, hello, welcome uh, That if this is the first video you're watching on the channel, they're not usually this bad I just need to get a video out so I'm kind of rushing this one so the Tide Popper costed a lot of materials, as you can see here. Uh, let's turn the chat off, there you go, you can see all the materials it costed. Was it worth any of these? Probably not. However, that's about it for this video. I know this video is extremely short, and I've kind of just rambled and had a bit of fun. But, you know, I don't really care. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you made it to the end of the video. Comment down below, a sprout has appeared. Actually, that's a bad thing to comment, because people will figure out what you're on about. Type something discreet type tabby b somewhere in your next comment okay on this video and i'll know that you watch to the end this video is a mess subscribe to buy okay